Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Yeah, sorry about the lighting in here. Hopefully I'll get it sorted on the other camera in a minute. Um, but I moved on. Um, you saw me a few weeks ago do Sam's blanket. And I've done a couple more since then. So I've taken it to the next logical conclusion. And uh, I'm making a quilt. And yeah, done some free motion quilting on it as well. And I'm now about to do the edge of it and finish it but I went on YouTube and had a look and how other people did theirs and there seems to be either binding that goes the full length of it well, circumference and um, there's either binding that goes the full circumference <laughs> There's either binding that goes the, all the way round the quilt or the backing is actually brought forward uh, and makes a binding. And that's it. And I thought, no, the quilt that I've made, a binding is going to ruin it, whether it's the backing come forward and I can't do that because it's two types of material I've used on the backing and putting uh, another colour on it or using the black, it's going to detract from the quilt. I'll show you what I mean. That's the quilt that I've made and I, as I said I've used two different types of backing. You probably probably won't make it out too well um, because the lighting in here isn't brilliant but if you see it there are you seeing it? yeah see my if you put a binding if you put I've got no more of this silver material if I put a, uh, a white binding, the black is going to show through. If I put a black binding, it's just going to be awkward on there. So I looked on um, Devon People's videos for inspiration and no one seems to do it this way at all. But I'm doing it. What I've done is I've cut about half an inch, three quarters of an inch off the batting and let's, I've got one side left to do you see my batting comes to there so I'm going to cut down there about half an inch being careful obviously you don't cut your backing material so there's backing cut off. But as you, you can see, all this this pattern material, I've free motion quilted all the way around it. And I've just done a line down there. It's got sides on here, and then I realised if I'm doing this, I can't really put sides on it. So once I've actually turned it under, I'm going to quilt sides and across the top so it'll all match them. I still haven't got used to this cam yet. All I'm going to do is turn over the backing, first of all, to cover the batting, and then I'm going to turn under the top, and then I'm going to stitch all the way around and the stitching that I, I normally do on blankets and that whether it catches the batting or um, wadding or not doesn't matter because I'm going to do sides and across so they will catch the wadding but I'm just going to go all the way around it and finish it off like that 
So I'll do that now. I trimmed the wadding, the batting um, that's inside the quilt. And then, can you see? I went round it, all the way round it, took both in, both edges, so it was a nice end to it, and then went round with the decorative stitching that my sewing machine does. I've just got to finish the quilting now on these grey borders, and that's the quilt on. Really pleased with that. Um, Four foot square, make a great lap blanket, it fits on the bed just exactly. Um, or you can put it on uh, the back of your sofa and if you get chilly at night with it coming to winter you can just put it over your knee to keep you warm. But I'm really chuffed with that. It's my first proper quilt. I did the um, wall hanging quilt. Uh, I think it was in January. But this is my first proper quilt. And I'm really, really pleased with it, how it's turned out. So, this one um, might go on eBay. Might not. I might keep it myself. Or give it as a present. But two of the blankets that I've recently made, I have put on eBay. And if I can, <laughs> I'll see if I can put a link to those listings um, in the description box below. But, really chuffed with that. Thank you. Bye. It's a pearl.